absolutely swamps and it's Banani leaning on Huff as they go through the long right hand of Banani trying to position oh. himself and the red flags will come out as the two golfs have made contact heavily and that is the very worst possible getaway for everybody. Brief fire under the bonnet of Rob Huff's car. Norbert Mitchell hanging off so... <sighs> Huff got hooked up around the nose of Banani's car. Underneath Banani's car was... Was that Ted Bjork? It must have been Ted Bjork's car. Brief fuel fire under his bonnet and Huff's. And from Norby's view, Huff is trying to get alongside. Contact. Oh, and that breaks the left suspension of Huff's car. I've just no idea what they were both doing. Absolutely well, Banani no idea. was trying to get the inside for the next left so he could then control the corner and Ted Bjork had Banani's car land in his windshield. That's John Philippi out of the race and the onboard camera there was with Esteban Guerrieri so he is out of the... Let's go racing and oh we have uh, dramas right at the start of the race as a number of cars have been caught out and are spun around in the wrong directions the race is going to be stopped i feel sure but so von skeltemar with a terrible start but oh and rick lover in avoidance then uh, tries to get out of the way i think there were kind of two separate incidents there if i'm honest with you so that was uh, thomas gosner and vladimir haladic and then further up uh, Rick Lover in avoidance to the Von Skeltemar car, I think. Guys are bailing through the chicane. Where will they come out? Oh, oh no! Dixon. That's no good. Dixon's in the middle oh. of that. Car upside down, Andretti, I think. Scott Dixon is in the middle of that mess. No, it's not. It's Ed Jones. No, no Dixon, Dixon is. He's off to the side. Paul. Yeah, I think, I think Hinch kind of lost it in front of the field. He got loose coming out of that kink and lost it and then everybody just piled right into the back of him. Oh, oh, squeezing him. He was all over the curb and just tried to ride the curb out. Look oh. at Marco's car goes over the top, but he tried to ride up on that curb. Veach had to, was ahead. Yeah. Mm. Well, first of all, it's the... Uh... That was Liram Sandelli. Maybe some oil on the track because look how yes. many cars went out. Must be some, some maybe oil from maybe Leon Collar was, uh, he has had some mission in the rear. Creed on the bottom side. Big Purdy is going around, hard into the wall. Car goes with him. Caution. And we'll try again. Michael Self, Willie Mullins are the first two cars to get through there. You can see it here. This is on the middle of the back stretch. Bumper to bumper, gets tight. You can see how much higher his nose was there with no air on it. And once cars get together, it's over. Thomas Brader up higher as the 0 6 and the 9. There's Brad Smith making contact with the 0 6. There's Rob. Mira, chigan a la 1 y el de Entre Ríos que se hace de la punta. Upa! Dos petazos. Oh, bueno, bueno. Oh, bueno. Mira vos. Fontanet, lamentablemente, fue el último en llegar a ese lugar. Y terminaron golpeados. Que va. De... A ver, vemos la reiteración de imágenes de arriba. El de uno de los autos, el auto de Borla. Ah, se lo encontró. Oh, mira. Fana, side by side action. Walton. Oh, hard into the wall. Aaron Cameron. And he'll skittle the field. Gutierrez gets clipped. Turn around. It's on in the background, too. Another car heavily involved. I think that was Dylan Golson who had a head on. Leanne Tander caught up in this one. Harry Bates comes to a stop. Brock Feeney will pick his way through with damage to the bonnet. Walton in the black car. He had a big slide, Walton. He was trying to catch the car. It was totally unintentional, the original contact with Aaron Cameron. And you could see that right front wheel of Aaron Cameron's before everyone else made contact. He had no steering, so he was a passenger from there. And that's why, before he got in the medical car, he was waving at Walton and saying, mate, what's going on? To the back of the grid is uh, Benjamin Luther as a round and well saved for uh, Simon Riker, but now he gets collected by a number of cars, including the number 22 car of Harold Prochik. We've got five, six, seven cars, and as if the Fugles didn't have enough problems, look at the damage to the number 55 car of Marcel Fugel. Will USF 2000, will cooler heads prevail? Will they get through? No, a driver locking it up. That's Frederick. The leader locks it up. 
The leader locked it up. The contact further back. Nowhere to go. Jose Sierra at the very back says, okay, I'll back up. Thank you so much. I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots in turn number one. Seven drivers at least involved there. Everybody up front. Please not have any cars in the gravel. We don't want to get a safety car, but very frenetic midfield. Car sideways across the pirouette, and that's... Um, there, dear Connor Grady, there in the 25, we got the 29 car off as well, which is Ashley Marshall. Uh, that's going to be a red, not a safety car. Uh, what a shame! So, red, and then Grady gets checked up in the yellow. Someone gets spun across the front there, and then Grady gets hit again. Then he's on uh, the 25 spinning, and bang, everyone's in there, and oh, just big hits. It's so lucky he didn't get it in the door. Everything on that 25 of Grady's car got hit except the driver's door. That was very lucky. Well, the Lamborghini at the back uh, just sort of went on its own. Jonathan Judek deciding to keep out of the way. Now, here it all went wrong. A couple of cars going around, and then you just run out of space. The two yellow and black. Going backwards at a prodigious rate, unfortunately, on the inside. That doesn't work sideways in the middle of the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> Oh, the field essentially in the gravel at Redgate. That was Katie Milner that got turns. Justin Peck tries the slide job. Sheldon gets into him and they are both side. Oh, big time trouble on the back straightaway. Kyle Larson in three and four. And wow. a pile up in the middle. The 18 of Kyle Bush is around. Contact. They're rolling in there. Great Golden hits late. And Steve, you said it. I don't think I don't. Sticky stuff into Ryan Blaney. Then he just spins in front of the field. And when he does that, a roadblock right there on the front stretch. A little, little contact for the 78. See right there, he's up the racetrack, a little bit of contact, spin. It's just so hard to get slowed down. Well, that's real, pretty, pretty significant contact for the 78 there. No, se van a enganchar o no, doblan o no, doblan, no doblan. Juancito Bojanich. Pasó Di Falsi de Milagro, Suárez Alvia quedó mirando a la tribuna y una curva muy difícil. Another go now, trying to get down the inside of Aurelian Comte as they go through turn three and we've got the big one. <laughs> They've all been so well behaved all weekend on the opening lap, but not that time around. I think both Coopers were involved. Imagine it'll, it'll eventually go to a 13 lap race. Yeah. Oriola very, very lucky, didn't get swamped in by the gravel. Gravel bed's very, very deep here. Yeah. And this, of course, is the fast part of the circuit, that straight going down into turn three, and, uh, well... Oh, trouble down in turn one, multiple cars involved. Jimmy Blewett is up on his side. Rolls on his roof among them. He'll be on the outside. To oh, Frey. Big, That's nice. a big accident. Caught up at the cutting, and this is going to be a big pile up. Declan Fraser, George Gutierrez. Damage to McAdam. Trent Grubel with a lot of damage. Burton gets through. Damage. It's going ball with Glenn Seaton. Wow, Glenn was onto that so early. Just goes to show Glenn Seaton. Massively seasoned campaigner. Been a while since he's done some running. Puesto 16. Mira Canapino. Mira Canapino. Apunta y tira. A quien tira. Oh, oh ahí quedó Jimmy no, Nolesi. Catalan sí, Mandi. Mira que lío. Ay, el horquilla. Que desparramos. Bueno, esto puede estar otra neutralización. Sí, señor. Vuelta. A ver. Y, oh. y ahí está. Salieron para afuera. Catalan sacó bien el auto. Bien por él. Lo sacó bien, el Mago bien, Berlín. Bien. Bien, bien. Los, los que logran sacar los no. autos. Ya, claro. Para, eso. para eso está la marcha atrás. Sí, señor. Ahí está en el medio del lío. ¿Te, acord Bien. ¿Te acordás que hubo exclusiones porque había autos que no tenían marcha atrás en sí, algún señor. momento? Y, dice, no, ¿y, qué, ¿Y por qué incide? Por us driving with two <laughs> wheels over the white line underneath us at the IMSA Broadcast Center. That was the McLaren I was talking about. That is an awesome start, but you are allowed to make positions oh. as soon as the green flag falls. Aston Martin in the wall and two cars behind, including... Ken in amongst the GS cars on the first couple. That's exactly what happened. Let's look at the replay here. And uh, we're watching ahead from on board number 77, and it was yeah, it was it was number 75 car appeared there to get into the back of the number nine Aster, but clearly so there was more drama ahead of those two as well. Oh, so yeah. that was a, they were they were at the tail end of that incident, and cars all over the place going through the S's. Most unfortunate. Well.